Hi, Danny Bayard for Club Bremen Spotlight, and I'm sitting here with Jessica and Tim Dornblazer from Nobo Brewing Company, one of the great places to eat and drink here in Palm Beach County. So I've gotten permission from the Dornblazers, who operate an absolutely safe environment for this COVID-19 thing, but we're going to be able to take off our masks because we're doing social distancing. Okay with you guys? Mm -hmm. Okay with us. Great. So tell us, all right, in a nutshell, how did Nobo Brewing Company come to be? And also, where does Nobo come in, the name? Yeah, well, no, uh, Nobo started uh, by me and my brother uh, being home brewers for a number of years. And we hit a point where we were uh, brewing uh, at such a capacity and doing all of the local beer fest that we decided we needed to take it to the next level. And uh, after a number of years of uh, between finding a space and getting the equipment and build out, uh, we opened up uh, Nobo Brewing Company here. Now tell me, when you say a capacity, how many bottles or how does this thing measure? Well, when, when we were home brewing, we had about 30 uh, uh, kegs that uh, we were home brewing with. So on a home brew scale, that's, that's a lot of beer. Uh, <laughs> more than you could drink by more, yourself. More right? than we could drink by ourselves, for sure. Um, and right now, as Nobo Brewing Company, we're a five barrel brew system, which means a barrel is 31 gallons. So every time we brew, it's approximately 155 gallons of beer that we make. So in total per week, what's your weekly production? Uh, we could, uh, we have uh, 55 barrels of uh, fermentation capacity and we can turn that approximately every two weeks. Yeah. So run the math at 55 times 31, we can do... Uh, it's quite a bit of beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a bit of beer we can turn about So they're never going to run out of beer, so you can that, come on over, we're going to give you the location in a second. But I want to get into that this is a family business. Tell it me is. about the family and, and how that came about. Sure. <laughs> um, it, it, it again started out with me, uh, with me and my brother, yeah. but uh, obviously uh, with us opening up, our wives are heavily involved. Mm -hmm. uh, for the first uh, three months or so that we operated the place, um, it was uh, our wives behind the bar and uh, my brother and I doing the brewing uh, in the back. And uh, we've kind of kept that going ever since. And uh, Jessica has uh, been setting up a lot of events. Uh, my brother is the brewmaster and comes up with most of the recipes. And uh, with something as heavily manufacturing it is, as it is and stuff breaking all the time, uh, <laughs> I'm constantly here fixing things on a daily basis. I saw you running around with a drill earlier on. Yep. All right, yep. so behind every great guy, there's a great woman. But in this case, the women are in the front and the yes. guys are in the back, right? <laughs> so Jess, what do you do here on a daily basis? Well, on a daily basis, um, I'm just doing a lot of uh, brand uh, um, ambassadorship, getting the word out, especially now with our, our place being to go only. So it's very important for us to be able to get on social media and mm -hmm. explain to all of our, our, our favorite friends and, and our, 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 our usual um, patrons that we're still here, we're still open for business, we've got a lot of specials going on, we've been trying to mix it up a bit with having a, a different brew almost every day that you can come and you can purchase, so that kind of keeps us in the forefront of everybody's mind while things are slowly opening and then reclosing at the same time. But additional to that, not on a day-by-day -day basis, I've, I'm also heading up our, our girls only brew, which is something that we tried to get more girls involved in the craft beer industry. I'm a, a member of the Pink Boot Society, which is something to, to try to garner more support within women in the craft beer movement. So what we do several times a year, I invite a couple people that um, come, have been to the brewery before. We go in the back, we pick out the recipe, we brew everything with you know adult supervision, obviously. <laughs> and, um, and then a lot of the times we try to um, take proceeds from that beer and donate it to one of our favorite very charities. Cool. So we've very done cool. about three or four so far. At least. Yeah. Yep. You know, it's important to give back to the community and we appreciate that. For sure. Now, let's talk about beer. Certainly. We have our uh, set of core beers, uh, m most of them here. Uh, our most popular beer, uh, or one of our two most popular beers, is the green can right there. It is a jalapeno honey blonde. Uh, very uh, heavy on the uh, jalapeno flavor, but mm -hmm very, very little spice, so if you're afraid of spice, it's not it's not a spicy beer okay. uh, with a sweet finish from uh, the local honey, uh, orange blossom honey that we mm -hmm. add to it. Uh, then the next one down is actually our watermelon, uh, water melon, watermelon blonde. This one right there. Yep. Okay. For, uh, Just I'll let you point to those. Yep. It's yeah. a special uh, summer release. We only have that during summer months. Um, very refreshing summer beer. Great if you're going out to the beach, grab a uh, set of cans and it uh, goes well sitting on, the, sitting on the beach under an umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, next one we have down is uh, our, New Eng our Session New England IPA called Crushable Haze. It's uh, a uh, low ABV, five and a quarter percent, uh, hazy New England style IPA. Very popular. 
Next one down is uh, What's My Haze Again? It's a double New England IPA coming in a little bit stronger, a little over 8%. Uh, then we've got our second most popular uh, or tied for most popular beer, our old school Hefeweizen. Okay. It is uh, brewed by the uh, old German Reinheitsgebot, uh, their German purity law. So it's a very traditional German wheat beer. Uh, one of our, like I said, one of our two most popular. Next one down is our French vanilla coffee porter. And uh, we brew it um, with uh, French Madag uh, fresh Madagascar vanilla bean okay. and fresh roasted coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, then we've uh, started our own uh, craft seltzer. So we have our craft seltzer down there, our giggle water, and we have multiple different flavors of that. Moving then back down to the other end, we have some of our bottle releases. We have Red, White & Boom, which we release every year for 4th of July. Oh. It is a 12% Imperial Stout, Good uh, gosh. aged on uh, delicious. <laughs> aged on uh, cinnamon oak whiskey. So you say you that with experience. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so you get uh, you get a lot of the uh, oak flavors and a lot of the cinnamon flavor okay. out of it. Uh, then we have BBS. We brew that. That's a 14% Imperial Stout wow. that we brew once a year for our anniversary. Our uh -huh. anniversary is right around every March 10th, and so it's a special once a year release. And when the bottles are gone, the bottles are gone. Uh, then the last one we have is our Film Noir. It is a uh, Saison that was barrel aged and a La Crema Pinot Noir barrel for Ooh. 14 months. Good gosh. Where do you get the barrels from? Uh, we order them from all, all different, uh, from some uh, distilleries out of Tennessee to wineries to wherever we can uh, get a hold of something different and something unique. Dare I ask, what's your favorite? Among these, of Jess? these, yes. Oh, I mean, my go-to is al always jalapeno honey blonde. I okay. mean, the first thing I do when I come in is I see what's the special, what do we have that's different that I haven't had before, uh -huh. and then my second one is always going to be the jalapeno honey blonde. It, it just goes well with everything. It doesn't matter if it's chili, a steak, pasta. It's just it's it's fantastic. And what about you, Tim? I, I'm, I can't say that uh, there's any one that's my favorite. It's uh, almost like asking any parent which one of their children <laughs> is, their, is their favorite. So for me, it all, for me, it all depends uh, what day it is and uh, what I'm in the mood for. All right, so let's uh, go into hours of operation mm -hmm. in these peculiar times. Right. How can they get the beer? Well, right now we, you can go to nobobrewing.com and we have an online store. Click on the online store and you can order online. And uh, you can come in and pick it up, or you can uh, ask request curbside, and we'll deliver it right out to your car. So uh, no contact whatsoever. Open your trunk. We'll drop it in your trunk for you. It's perfect. And, and away, exactly. And away you go. And we actually recommend, since we're doing almost daily special releases, uh, a lot of people who can't maybe get here that day, we tell them, order it online, and it'll be sitting here waiting for you when you get here since their limited release. Fabulous. Uh, Club Raymond members, you see that on the uh, screen there. It's the website for the ordering. And can they phone in an order? They, uh, they can. Uh -huh. And then uh, we'll set it aside, and they can pay for it when they, when they come in. All we right, so here's the phone lot. number, yep. and we just added that to the screen as well. You know, it's a truly magical place when you just have some beer just appearing right in front of our eyes. But before we go into a little tasting, which I'm going to really officiate. Uh, I'd like to tell you about a Club Brayman discount for you Club Brayman members out there. So Tim or Jess, tell us about we're, it. We're offering for all Club Brayman members uh, for our online store, if you do Brayman15 at checkout as your coupon code, you have 15% off your entire order. And when we're back open to the public for uh, Brayman, Club Brayman members come in, uh, let the bartender know that you're a Club Brayman member and it's 20% off your check. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, you can't beat that. So Club Brayman members, remember uh, Brayman15. And then when you come back in, you'll also know that we have those electronic membership cards. Just flash that card right to the bartender, tell me you're a Club Raven member. And now I've got to make a taste of this. So I'm going to get this from the official uh, experts here of what I should be taking. I love a dark beer myself, but tell yes. us what we have here. So here we have our Jalapeno Honey Blonde, which won uh, second place at the Florida. It was a uh, silver medal yep. uh, uh, award-winning at the best of Florida beer competition wow. uh, this past, uh, March. This past wow. March. Um, then the next one down, we have our old school Hefeweizen. Um, I don't believe we played, we did not uh, enter that in this year's competition, but then the third one down is our French vanilla coffee porter, and that one gold at this year's best of Florida beer competition. Gold at the so, Florida beer competition. you got to taste this. So yeah. which one should I do first? If you're a big dark beer fan, I recommend the French vanilla coffee porter. There you go. 
oh my gosh, this is to die for. <laughs> and this one, again, which one is this now? That is our old school Hefeweizen. That's a uh, very traditional German wheat beer. It's good for summer. Very refreshing. Oh, this is refreshing. Banana, oh. banana flavors, some uh, clove. Fabulous. Fabulous. And this one is your favorite, Jess, yes. right? Yes. Be scared. <laughs> it's really not that spicy. This also could become my favorite. Yeah. Club Raymond members, I'm with Jess and Tim from the Mo Nobo Brewing Company. That's Nobo, N-O-B-O for North Boynton Beach. Yes. Correct. And hours of operation again? We're uh, open every day right now. Uh, while we're to go only, we're open from three to nine every day. Um, then we're open till uh, 10 on Friday and Saturday and 12 to 8 on Sundays. Mm -hmm. so. We appreciate the time. Take Thank it you. with the Club Thank Raymond. You so much. For Club Raymond Spotlight, Danny Bayard here reporting from the Nobo Brewing Company. You gotta try this beer. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Thank you.